I feel like after this month, I just need to get better. I need to get better. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today we're doing my June TBR and we're gonna be attempting to join the Whatever You Want-a-thon. I will have a separate video talking about my TBR for that because I have kind of filled every single spot in the bingo board with a book. I know I don't have to because I can pick three prompts per book, but I kind of want it to have one for each and then we'll see how many bingos I get. I am also combining my wrap up with my TBR this month because I did only read one book and that was one that I had started last month. So I didn't really feel like giving too much of a wrap up and stats and everything because what's the point? <laughs> so I think without further ado, we'll get that out of the way and then we'll get into the TBR. So the book that I started this month off with finishing was Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. This will finish off the last prompt that I had from Aurelium that I didn't manage to finish in April. I believe I gave this a three or a four star, somewhere in between. It was a very classic YA in my opinion and I'm actually also kind of excited to continue. I might pick up the second one this month. We'll see. I did pick it up as an audio and I think I will be doing the same thing with the sequel because that was just really nice and it was a very easy book to listen to in my opinion. Not all that confusing. So <laughs> I would recommend this but be aware that it is very typical YA fantasy. Now before we get to my actual TBR, I do have one more book that I want to mention and that is because I do also have a DNF for this month. That is Quinny Buell by Yusiela Olsen. This was just not for me. It was not. I love true crime and I love reading non-fictions about true crime, but when it's done like this as an actual, you know, story as fiction, I don't know why I just didn't vibe with it and it might have something to do with the fact that I've seen the movie so I am gonna give the genre another chance. I might give this author another chance but I am not gonna give this book another chance. That means that all of the cards that I got from last month will go back into the deck because I didn't finish them. I don't know if I explained that well enough last time but when I finish a prompt I take it out of the deck and then it's unavailable until I restart the game or until I run out of prompts. If I get a card and do not complete the prompt then I have to put it back in the deck. So as much as I would have liked to have Princess Power which is a to read a book you're not that excited about, as much as I would have liked that to be you know out of the deck, it is going back in. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so I think without further ado, we should get to the rolls. I am sorry for the background noise. It is really hot in here. I am gonna start off by moving four spaces back on the board simply because I didn't read any of the books I was supposed to, but I did start one and I did DNF it, so I don't count that as like a loss. <laughs> so I am only moving four back and not five. So one, two, three, four. All right, let's go for the first roll. Five. <laughs> oh God. One, two, three, four, five. A Barbie card. I didn't shuffle these. I'm gonna shuffle them now. We got the Diamond Castle. Read a book where the main character has to go on a quest. So the first prompt I got was a Diamond Castle. Read a book where the main character has to go on a quest. This is kind of guesswork to me, but I am guessing that Serafina from Serafina and the Black Cloak will have to go on a quest to figure out this type of mystery that's going on. I don't know what motivated me to pick up this book this month, but here we are. And I'm actually really excited. I've had this for so long and I don't know, I'm kind of feeling in the mood to get some middle grades on here and to maybe get some fast reads. That would just be nice. <laughs> so the first pick for this month's TBR is Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty. Next roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. DreamWorks. I didn't shuffle. 
ants. Read a book where the main character is or has an animal. Next up, we got ants, and that is to read a book where the main character is or has an animal. And that was actually kind of a harder prompt than I thought it would be. I might have to change it up when I create my newer version of the game which I will actually talk more about this month, but um, so stay tuned for that. But I decided to go for Salt and Stone by Victoria Scott. This is the sequel to Fire and Flood. I have heard that there was supposed to be a third book, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like the ending because it's not supposed to be an ending, but there probably will not be more. I don't know. I've just heard people say that there was supposed to be a third book and that they're still waiting for it, and I'm like, hmm, probably not gonna be here then. But I do want to complete the books that are available in the series, and then, then we'll see how I feel in my wrap-up. It is what it is. <laughs> Next roll. Eight. That is a free pick from the Barbie pile, so I'm gonna go through it. I might be shooting myself in the foot by picking this, but I am going for The Secret Door, read a book with three or more people on the cover. Then I got a Barbie free pick and I decided to go for The Secret Door read a book with three people on the cover, and that's because there's three people on the movie cover thing, so. I know it says three people, but in my head it is three or more, because I don't have, I don't think I have anything with three people, like, specifically. I managed to fit it on here. We have five people up here at the top, so it counts. This was the book that I got from my first line and I am beyond excited to get to it. I've had it for so long and I feel like this is one of the books where I am actually really, really excited, but there just keep coming more books to my library and then I get distracted. So it's not because I'm more excited about the newer books, I am just distracted and because they're new I'm like, ooh. Nice. <laughs> so I am actually really excited to see what I think about this. So, yes. And the fourth roll. Another Barbie free pick. I already know what I'm gonna choose. This was a pretty easy pick for me. So it's 12 Dancing Princesses and that is to read a five star prediction. Then I had another free pick and I decided to go for 12 Dancing Princesses, which is to read a book you predict to be a five star. Honestly, with how much I love Blade of Secrets, I cannot, like if this is under a four star, I will kind of be shocked because I have a feeling this is like Vikings and I freaking love that. And then it's Trisha Levenseller and so far I've loved all the stuff that I read, which is only one book, so. Mm. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. The premise sounds really cool and I am just kind of really excited to try it out. So I am putting this as a five star prediction. <laughs> and the final roll. A complete free pick. All right. All right. Um, let me go through the Disney's. I decided to go for Kung Fu Panda, which is to read the next book in a series. And finally, I got a free pick! Yay! <laughs> so for this one, I decided to go for Kung Fu Panda, and that is to continue a series or read the next book in a series. And I decided to go for Rise of the Isle of the Lost. I have been wanting to unhaul this series because I've kind of lost interest and I didn't like the second book, but I also decided to keep them for the these books will self-destruct, but for some reason I feel like picking it up this month, so here we are picking it up and everything. Hopefully I'll like it. And that was it for this month. I'm, I'm kind of happy with my TBR. It could have gone a lot worse could have gone better. Overall, I am I am happy with it, so yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me down in the comments what you will be reading this month and are you taking part in whatever you want a thon. 
Also, if you just want to let me know that you're here but don't know what to comment, you can always leave a green heart. If you like this video, please hit the like icon and if you want to see more of my bookish content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It will mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye!